I have a school assignment to make a model of a shark, and I got the Mega Mouse shark, and I'm going to make making it mostly out of clay. And since it's one of the most biggest sharks, I'm allowed to divide it in eighths, so I'm going to make it in two feet. And I'm going to make my model, and it's going to be really fun. I'm making a documentary of the Mega Mouse Shark, um, and this is the model, step one. What do you use? Clay. And? A wine bottle, empty wine bottle, of course. Step one is complete now. I, I have covered the whole wine bottle in clay, except for the bottom because it looks like the Mega Mouse Shark because it's um, it can concaves and it's black looking into the mouth mouth and so I chose the bottle because it tapers and tapers means it goes thick to thin which is perfect for the mega mouse shark because the main part of the body which is would be right here is huge and then it goes thin at the tail so and the mouth is perfect so this is why I chose the wine Step bottle. two, I am thickening out the shark and I'm about done with a five pound container of clay, which is this. Step three, I'm now working on the tail and I'm using a thin piece of cardboard so I can shape the tail around it and then I'm gonna stick it to this to be as long and it needs to be strong because if it's flimsy really flimsy it's going to be super fragile and if you touch it with enough force it will just fall oh. step three i'm making the tail and i'm gonna put nails in for more reinforcement to make it stronger and i'm gonna and also to make it uh, stick higher up because if you have any pressure or weight on it it's just gonna flop right off so I'm finishing step three and I attached the tail and I found out it was a little too heavy so I thinned it out and took a little bit of it off and now I found out it's actually much more accurate I'm now working on the top fin along the top and I'm using cardboard once again to shape it and I'm gonna put the clay around the cardboard to make the top. I'm working on the pectoral and pelvic fins, and I'm cutting out the mold of one of the sides. I did step six, which was the upper jaw, and now I'm gonna do step seven, which is the ridge which as you can see over there is, there's a re weird, another, another level that's sticking out. So I'm just gonna stick this on. For step seven, I've been looking forward to this one because it's basically finishing the face. So I'm going to, I did one of the eyes, which is right here. And now the next one I have to push deep in about right here and you have to push in hard and you have to kind of step nine for the teeth the very tiny practically invisible teeth I'm using the I'm cutting off the tips of fork tines and you could barely see them which is what we're going for they're really close together they're right here I found that cutting the fork tines, if you cut them without anything around them, they will go flying to nowhere and you won't find them because they're clear. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to cut them like this with that over it. on the teeth, I'm beginning to really need more forks. So instead of just um, going out and buying forks, we're just going to still use the used ones and just put them in less important places. Okay.
Um, the materials that I've used in this project is a wine bottle first, which you can't see anymore because it's the base. I've used plastic forks, clear plastic forks, scissors, Crayola air dry clay, buttons, roof, long roof nails, um, the paint, which I'm going to get to, and a um, measure, a measure, and ten. I'm working on the gills, and I've figured out that the gills are actually very tricky. You have to do with a nail like this and push in, and you have to make them deep enough to look like a gill. The gills are done, and now I'm gonna let it dry, and at the end of this week, I am going to start painting it. Look at my shirt. My shark project's pretty much done, so I hope you've enjoyed watching my video and as much as I've enjoyed making my shark. So, and I just want to point out one other material that I used was a trash bag.